Malcolm, let's start there. What does that mean for you? It's a huge honor to be, you know, on the semifinalist for that. I mean, a lot of great guys have come through here, and just to be on that uh, is a huge honor. Malcolm, when you think back, just a couple of years ago, really, you were just adjusting to playing that linebacker position. What, you know, what does that evolution look like for you now to go from that to now being on this watch list? Just, uh, just a lot of growing up. I mean, just learning the whole defense as a whole, and just Coach Knowles doing a good game plan, and just uh, kind of just guys just making plays all around me. So just, just like kind of just growing up. That's all I gotta say about that. You mentioned growing up maybe in a football sense. How do you feel like you've grown up, kind of as a man in, in that span of time? Uh, just kind of just seeing the little things. I mean, not letting everything get too fast, and just taking it day by day. What's your biggest growth? From safety to linebacker, you know, you had to get bigger and stronger, mm -hmm. but also the metal aspect, which is the bigger? Uh, just like you said, just getting bigger, the weight definitely for sure. But uh, just seeing the keys a lot faster, things happen a lot faster when you're, you know, down there in the box. And so just reading those keys and just uh, everything's happening a lot fast. Can you go back to that where was that when they first talked about that move, that's something you have or like? No, I was just like, whatever's good for the team. So they knew that, and uh, I was happy to uh, go down there. You guys are back at the uh, at the top of the national statistics on third downs. What, what makes you guys so good on third down? Just the guys. I mean, we got a lot of veteran guys out there, and just uh, Coach Knowles. He knows our play calling. He knows like what we're what we're good at, and you know he's uh, he's adjusted every every year and every game to that, and so he just plays to our ability. Are you aware on the field at the time that? They don't have a first down until late in the third quarter or that they go over 13 on third down. Are you aware of stuff like that? Uh, no, not really. We kind of just go out there every series just trying to get off the field. And, you know, they told us that at half. And, you know, we're like, hey, we're not, it's not bad. So it was, uh, it was kind of a shock to everybody. So it was pretty cool. What's it like for you to see Jason and Colby's interceptions and see kind of the competition between them? It's awesome, man. They're on the sideline. JT got his. And JT's like, Pill, where you at, man? So it's just like. So Pill came out that next couple of series and got one too. So it's just, uh, it's all love back there. And we like guys like that uh, making plays. What about the second half? I know Coach Gunny talked about how when you brought second string and third string guys coming in, mm -hmm. Nick Session had his interception. What was the energy like on the sideline? Dude, all the older guys, all the starters and everything got pumped up, got pictures. So it's, uh, I said, it's all good chemistry out there in the de defense. So we just, everyone's uh, lifting each other up and it's, it's just awesome. Uh, definitely Pill. Pill's always out there hyped up. He's a hype man for sure when he's on the sideline uh, cheering everybody up. So it's it's pretty cool. Falcon November is the month that sort of defines teams when it comes to the championship races and whatnot. What, what is it about this team you think that will translate well this month? Just goes back to the being veterans. I mean, we've been here. We've been here a long time, feels like. And uh, just going out every month and just – Coming to uh, coming together and just uh, sticking out. I mean, everyone's gonna be tired. Everyone's gonna be fatigued. And it's just one of those things where you know we've been here before, and you know you know what it takes. Been here a bit now. Is this does the momentum going into this one feel different than the past couple at all? And, and, and if so, how? Uh, I wouldn't say any different. I mean, because like I said, I mean it's just kind of the same thing. Like we've been here. I've done this, and so it's just a normal routine for me. Just uh, kind of just playing. You've been to a lot of venues, a lot of different atmospheres. What is West Virginia like compared to the rest of the Big 12? Uh, it gets pretty rowdy over there, and uh, it's pretty cold. So it's a good atmosphere, good uh, football atmosphere, and uh, it's going to be a tough game, and they're a tough team. So they're very physical, and I uh, can't wait to play. Coach said that uh, their, their offense is what he's seen that's improved from the, the start of the season. I don't know how much film you've gotten into so far, but. You know, the, the fact that, that they're finally starting to click offensively, obviously, you know, score the most points against Iowa State over the weekend. What's the goal and what's what's the expectation going up against that type of offense right now? The goal is always to shut them down. I mean, that's that's what we do. I mean, we're going to go out there with a good game plan. And I have no doubt Knowles is in them. We're going to uh, put a good game plan together and just go out there and just compete. And, you know, they got a lot of starters returning. So, like, they're all vets over there just as us. So it's going to be a it's going to be a tough physical game there. You guys know what Iowa State is about, having just seen them a couple of weeks ago. Is the fact that, that West Virginia took them took them and, and beat them the way that they did kind of an eye-opening? 
Uh, not eye opening. I mean, it's the Big Twelve. I mean, you never know what you're going to get every week. So just just coming, who's ready to play, who's ready to not. So it's just going to be one of those things where you just got to come out uh, ready to play on the road. I was going to ask Tyler about his hair. Uh, I can't. I can't ask you that. His hair. <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> now, obviously, you made the decision to come back. You know, the, the, during the summer. Now that the you're personally having success, semifinalists, teams having success. How gratifying does that make the decision? Because it could have, you know, spiraled a different way. For mm-hmm. you. It's always good, you know, to see all these honors. All the guys are getting. The defense is doing good. It's just. Kind of just makes you realize, like, man, like it was it was a good choice to come back and just uh, just be around the guys and make more memories together. Malcolm, if you didn't come back, what do you think you'd be doing right now? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Probably being a personal trainer or in the gym somewhere. So I live on the fitness and love the passion of it. Maybe helping uh, helping coach your brother or something. I could do that. I could definitely do that. He needs a little coaching every now and then. <laughs> mentioned just the, the group of veterans you have on defense, guys who have been here. The opportunities that lie ahead this month, what, what are some of the conversations like among you guys who have been around a while? Man, we, we're old vets, so we just we stay in and just like chill and just go eat out and something like that. We do like, like what normal college students do, just stay in, just eat, play cards, play games, stuff like that. So it's not like one of those things, you know, we talk about life and family, so it's just, it's just kind of just relax, just talk, talking outside of football. I asked these player, players last week this for fun, just just to goof around a little bit. But what what TV show would you like to watch over for the first time? What what is Malcolm Rodriguez like? For the first time, yeah. oh, I uh, Grey's Anatomy. Okay. So I was I kind of stopped watching it after a while because Derek died in season twelve. So I was like, no, forget this. He was the main character, but I need to start getting back into it because they're still coming out for the episode. So I'm kind of I'm a little behind. What are they on season thirty now? Or something like that. I guess they're still making money, so they keep going. How hyped are you that there's a, a former cowboy on the on that in that show? Oh yeah, no, it's awesome, man. I mean, just a small world, just coming from here to uh, you know making it big time. So it's uh, just gives in reality, like, hey man, you, everyone can make it up. You guys have been over the course of your career, you've been pretty good at road team. Mm-hmm. Why do you think that is? When in- guys successful on the road we like uh silence in the crowds at home so just hearing that just like at texas it was awesome just hear them silent and so it was uh it's pretty cool just going out there and just you know bringing our own energy that's definitely a big part of it is bringing our own energy out there and just uh taking the energy out of the crowd is it more exciting to hear a really pumped up crowd at home or a deadly silent crowd on the road that's a tough one uh definitely I say the home one because you know this past week with homecoming it was it was pretty electric. So it's always good to have you know fans on your side. Did you see Colin Clay's little brother Warren? Did yes, that? that was awesome. So I, we were on the sideline getting crunk, so it was pretty cool. Mike mentioned that he dressed up as a scarecrow for for Halloween. Did you dress up, no. or have you have you seen? I seen I seen the picture. I seen his uh, his uh, son post it. So I was like, dang. So I maybe like, hey, you're not never too old to go get in the costume. So no, I did not dress up though. Yep, appreciate it.